And some people underneath might be thinking, what are they doing? Mm. It's not. Yep. But the majority of people, especially after making that effort for the race, it's like warm bosom of mama. They're just going to feel, oh, at last. I feel so safe and happy now. And just that contact is really well. relaxing. But you just must make sure you're leaning on them. <laughs> just match their breathing, because they'll hear you. They'll really start picking up on your body position and just even let them hear you breathing, just kind of a... sense they are breathing quite quickly and not relaxing then just slow down your breathing it's amazing how many times they'll start Still, matching you yeah, just slow down. Yeah. so let them hear your breathing into the nose and then slowly if you find they are struggling to relax they're still a bit hyper after the run which probably won't happen just give them some basic like breathe through your nose match me for three seconds now slowly out through your lips Slower, like you're blowing a candle when it's not going out. Okay. So it depends on the person. In reality, that might be 30 seconds, it might be a couple of minutes. If they come to you quite quiet, kind of like, oh my god, I just feel so. And once you feel ready for it, just some nice lights. The same thing as we were doing to the quad. You're literally tracing their back, nice circles with both hands, you're already kind of rocking your body into it. You can come up with two hands, trace their shoulders, come back down, down here again. But the whole time you're thinking about just that what that rhythm they're feeling, slowly up the back, around the shoulders, coming back. So many times you'll find, okay, slow down, for God's sake. If you feel you have just got into this, just close your eyes, and just concentrate on yourself instead of them. And I'll try and make sure I've got music playing. I think for younger therapists, it's really, the music's really helpful because it just gives you a beat just to relax with. If you decide to do something with one hand, just around the shoulder, just keep the other hand lightly in contact. If you just do that, they're thinking, where's the other hand gone? <laughs> <laughs> it just breaks the concentration. <laughs> and never, ever let someone else come along and put a third hand on them. <laughs> Especially like that. What the hell? <laughs> really weird. Hey, come over here. Put your hand there. <laughs> Yeah, so always keeping one hand in contact. Either work together, just keep a hand on. It really is a comforting thing. Just feeling safe and happy and relaxed again. Okay, and when they're ready, when you've done that a bit, depends who you've got in front of you. Hello, you alright? Okay, tuck it into their shorts because again it forms a boundary. Okay. Later on, when we're doing longer, proper massages, we'll actually lower it down to in expose the, the half of your bum. Huh? In the middle of the gluteus. Say again? In the middle of the gluteus. Well, for a proper massage, we put it down to there to expose the top of the glute. But for this, because it's a bit quicker, don't go putting their pants down to there. Okay. Well, we're also going to be public, aren't we? So we're yeah. going to be outside, so you've got to keep it's just a not, level. But don't be afraid just to get a little bit of crack. <laughs> <laughs> just the top of it. Just mm -hmm. a little bit. Mm -hmm. But not so they feel like, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> what is going for? <laughs> Why did you sign up for this? But just a tiny bit, because that just gives you the top of the glue. And honestly, that when you go over the pelvis and come back on a little bit of glue, it's just heavy. Especially with the compression that they've had. Yeah. Wow. I mean, really, I'd love just to. <laughs> <go over that>. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not. It's yeah. like, yeah. Welcome to Brighton. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but it's not, not, for, not for event work. I don't like it. Yeah. Okay, fine, so you've exposed that. Okay, now I'm still keeping contact, remember, with the patient, or with the runner. Okay, so you're not walking down here. Um, do you need some more oil? Oh, I'm sorry, yeah, I didn't check my station. Oh my god. Yeah. That was in my face. Sorry, I'm just going to check that. Okay, and I'm never. 
don't be tempted to do a little like that onto the hand because then you've got too much and you're like. <laughs> <laughs> it's just that doesn't work. Yeah, I know. Look at you earlier. You She's can like, always get more. Because I have too much oil. <laughs> you know you yeah. want it. You can always get more. It depends on their skin. <laughs> but I am doing a back. Okay, and you can look at the person and think, okay, a fair bit. Okay, it's on the hands. I'm still keeping in contact. My two hands start on the small of his back. Okay, just a little bit of pressure. I'm just working both up. My goal is just to keep as much contact with my palms. On the way back, I do a little kind of snake S. So I'm coming up in a straight line, round the shoulders a little bit, and then here to come back, I don't just come straight down, I do a little in, out, in, out. Back again. Breathe out. Personally, I quite like it if I'm receiving a massage and I can hear the therapist's breath. It's fine if I feel that. It's quite relaxing. It's a nice sound to hear. You've got to have good breath on. Once you've done a